Hi, Jackie. My name is Marge Henning. I'm a nurse practitioner here at the Mellon Center. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Today, um, I understand that you have some questions about things at the Mellon Center, so I'm going to introduce you to our binder and go through this with you and let you know how to use it and what kind of things that, what kind of information it has inside of it, okay? So first off, in the very beginning, it's an introduction to the Mellon Center. It talks about um, the center itself, how to get a hold of us, the directions, the location of the center, um, how to make appointments, how to reach us by other means besides a phone call. So for instance, if you needed to send us an email, there is also a way to do that once you've established contact with the physician here. Um, it also has a little bit of information about our other locations, such as in Nevada, and some of our other um, locations in Cleveland, like Lakewood. There's also a section here in the very beginning about what you need to do for refills or if you have a need to get a letter from your physician for work excuse or disability information. It gives you the outline as to what kind of time we need to fulfill your needs on that. So what kind of questions do you have about multiple sclerosis? Well. With multiple sclerosis, um, the first, very first question that tends to teeter on people's minds is, is there, how close is there, is there it to finding a cure? That's a good question. So I don't have that answer for you and neither does our book. However, the book does talk about research here at the Mellon Center and it offers information as to how to get in touch with someone to find out if you qualify for any of our research projects. We do have international research as well as local research um, that is headed up here at the Mellon Center. We have different types of research, not only a medicine type research, but MRI study research, um, simple question and answer type research, exercise research, things like that. We have been instrumental in getting some of the new medications um, through research and onto market okay. as far as um, having our patients test out medications. Okay. Okay. Um, another thing people ask me about is multiple sclerosis itself. They're not even aware that there are different types of multiple sclerosis and that comes up quite a bit. Um, when they tell me that they're not sure what kind of multiple sclerosis they have or what that means, that's when I show them in the book um, how is it diagnosed, what type of multiple sclerosis it is, and then there's different pages here that go into the different types that will break down and show you what the symptoms are, what the treatments are, and things like that. Um, the next section that we have here talks about some of the testing that we perform at that, the Mellon Center and how to prepare for it. So if you were to need to come in for an MRI or a test, it would tell you that, you know, we have MRIs here, this is how you prepare for an MRI, what to wear, what kind of medications that you should or should not take beforehand, um, how to hydrate. But also there's some other ones such as evoked potentials and lumbar punctures and assessments. Okay. Another question some patients will often have is that this is a little overwhelming and they need some help navigating the resources that are available to them here, both through the Mellon Center and out in the community. So our, our binder here talks about the health psychology services and the social work services that we have, but we also offer, in addition to the research, a neuro rehabilitation group. Um, which includes physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, those types of things. And it goes in and, and talks about um, why some people may need those services and how to go about getting an appointment for those services. Okay. okay. Do you have any questions about the different therapies? Such as um, the medication therapies, like the injectables or the pills? Hmm. With the with the medication, what are the different medications that are offered for MS? That's a good question. So in this section here titled um, the therapies, 
this is one of the hottest topics that we tend to come across with patients. Um, talks about the different infusions and injectables and oral medications that are currently available to our patients and what we offer here. It breaks down each type of medication that there is, what the side effects are, um, what to expect from the treatments, why these are beneficial, um, and it gives a list of the names of each of these medications as well. So if there's a medication that you're considering or that you and your doctor have discussed and you'd like inf more information, you can always look at your binder. But we will also usually send you home with information involved or enclosed in a packet itself that will go specifically over that medication. One of the other things that people have a lot of questions about are different symptoms in MS. A lot of people deal with fatigue and um, they want to know how they should stay healthy when they have multiple sclerosis, what they should do for those symptoms, should they get immunizations. The binder covers all of that. So if you have questions, you can always flip through these sections, staying well and symptoms to find out about that individual symptom. There's a lot of different things we can do besides just medicine to help with symptoms, such as physical exercise or additional rest. Okay. There's also a section on our complementary therapies. Here we talk about, a lot of people have questions about acupuncture or about um, chiropractic care. So we go over some of those complementary therapies in here as well. And then the last section here discusses some of the other neurological disorders that we deal with here at the Mellon Center. So it's an interesting read, but it's not something that we really want you to focus too much on having the diagnosis of MS. It just introduces you to some of the other services. So this book in general is meant to be an encyclopedia of sorts for you. It is not supposed to be a book that you read from front to back. It's just for a go-to information source, okay? This book is for you to keep. You can write notes in it. You can add sheets of paper to this. Um, you can keep track of events or appointments, whatever you'd like, but it's yours to have. Do you have any other questions for me? No. Okay, all right, very good. If there's any further questions or any further information that is needed, please feel free to go to our website listed below for additional answers. Thank you.